A piece of steel mangled and broken from a day that left millions of hearts mangled and broken. It's very surreal to actually see it in person. This steel girder on display at the South Carolina State Museum was once part of the World Trade Center. After the attack on September 11, 2001, the museum says 1.8 million tons of debris was removed from the site where the Twin Towers once stood. It's really sad to see. It doesn't get easier every single year, but it also shows the strength we have. We all came together as a country. Brielle Guglia is stationed in Charleston for the Coast Guard. She came up to Columbia to see the steel girder. It's important to do something every year just to make sure that we never forget what happened that day. Barbara Alexander, an employee of the museum, wiped away tears as she looked at the steel. I was active duty military army at the time right here at Fort Jackson. Nearly 3,000 lives were lost that day, including a trainee she dropped off at the airport early in the morning. He was going to visit his grandmother. He never made it home. I could just remember, you know, um, just getting information on the flight that he was on. Alexander says his connection to get home was American Airlines Flight 77. He was on the plane that flew into the Pentagon. And so I just remember that day and I always think about the families and um, and the people who lost their lives and their, how their families felt afterwards and have to, to deliver those type of messages to uh, those family members about a soldier that was in training, training to serve his country. A small piece of steel serving as a reminder of the big loss Americans suffered 20 years ago. In Columbia, Julia Kaufman, News 19, WLTX.